Okay, now we are doing cash flow statement. Uh, um, so now, for example, uh, this one is the profit and loss account. Everything is on cash basis. Uh, all the receipts and, and payments, uh, all are all the transactions is on cash basis. So you have sales uh, uh, 10,000 all in cash basis and purchases 4,000. So your gross profit is 6,000. Then your expenses, rental and water electricity, 1,000 each. And this, so th this will be 2,000. So your net profit is 4,000. Okay, so uh, if I'm this business owner, uh, my profit is 4,000, this uh, okay, so everything is on cash basis. That means my cash profit is four thousand. So I make a profit of four thousand, and four thousand is in my pocket. Okay, so how are we going to do the the cash flow statement? Okay, how are we going to do the cash flow statement? Okay, in cash flow statement, um, okay, just just uh listen to to me first. Just follow 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 this um step by step. Okay, so here cash flow. From from means cash flow from something. So cash cash flow from means money come in, and use in means money go out in operating activities. Okay, so so operating activities that means the main um, business activities of your company. Okay, so cash flow we have direct method and indirect method. So if you look at direct method, okay, so cash received from customers uh, ten thousand. And then your cash paid to suppliers and employees. Suppliers means all the suppliers, uh, including the water and electricity suppliers, your, your rental suppliers, all, all your suppliers, okay? is 6,000. Where you get 6,000, purchases is 4,000, and um, this, this expenses here is 2,000. So cash paid to suppliers and employees, 6,000. So that's why my cash generated from operation is 4,000. Okay? The cash I receive from customer is 10,000. The cash I paid out to supplier and employee is 6,000. So, so, my, my, so I will have 4,000 in my pocket. So this is cash generated from operation. Uh, that means um, in layman terms, it means cash profit. Okay, so if we do cash flow uh, using indirect method, in A level, we have to do cash flow using indirect method. Okay, it, using indirect method, we have to start with net profit first or net profit before interest. So in this case, there's no interest, so, so it will be net profit. So my net profit is 4,000 and there's no adjustment because everything is on cash basis now. So my cash generated from operation is 4,000. So, so um, no confusion, easy to understand. Cash, so that means now we must understand what is cash generated from operation. Cash generated from operation is um, uh, something like cash profit. You know, your cash profit from the um, normal operating operation of your company is 4,000. Okay, that is because um, I made a profit of 4,000 and all this is in cash. So I have 4,000 in my pocket. So my cash generated from operations is 4,000. Okay, so now since we understand this uh, example one already, we go on to example two here. Okay, so um, just now, just, just, just now, uh, okay, so now I'm going to add one more thing. So, um, you should have followed the, the previous chapter. So those who have re followed the previous chapter, you must know what is, you already known what is depreciation. Okay, so my gross profit is 4,000. And just like just now, my rental is 1,000. My water electricity is 1,000. And um, under expenses, I also have depreciation. So my total expenses is 3,000. And my net profit is 3,000. So I'm this business owner of this company. It, so... Um, my accountant tell me that uh, my net profit is three thousand, but I have four thousand in my pocket. I, I, you know, so my cash generated from operations is, is actually four thousand. Okay, you see, uh, my cash received from customer, all these sales are on cash basis, is ten thousand. My cash paid to suppliers and employee is only six thousand. Okay, four thousand plus um. This this one was paid, rental was paid, water electricity was paid. So my total paid is six thousand. Okay, so so I received ten thousand, I paid six thousand, my cash generated from operation is four thousand. Four thousand is in my pocket. But my net profit is three thousand. Okay, because 
because you know why under expenses you have depreciation okay depreciation is an expense but the money didn't go out you know you should understand that depreciation is an expense but we did not pay depreciation we did not the uh, uh, our money did not go out so this 1000 did not go out from our bank account okay um we will under under um you got to be patient uh under cash flow we also have another category cash flow from investing activities which we will explain later on so regarding depreciation over here depreciation is an expense but the money did not go out it's an expense that did not incur, um, involve any cash outflow okay so that means the cash outflow is only six thousand four thousand one thousand one thousand here six thousand so that's why my cash generated from operation is four thousand so if we use cash flow from uh, if we use cash flow under the indirect method which is the method that you should use in a levels okay how are we going to do this we have to start with net profit first okay so net profit is three thousand so um under net profit we put here adjustment non-cash item okay so so the net profit is three thousand we add back this expense that um that is not a cash outflow so we add back this one thousand then we get cash generated from operation is four thousand okay so now look carefully your net profit is three thousand we add back add back this this expense okay so so that means we treat uh depreciation we we, we so-called we 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 um we add back this depreciation to the, to the net profit okay in order to arrive at cash generated from operations okay so cash generated from operation is 4000 that is because 3000 is my accounting profit okay 3000 is my accounting profit i add back this um this expense that is not a cash outflow this is not a non cash outflow non cash item okay uh, to my net profit then i will get back my cash profit okay so now you should imagine this business owner who does not know much about accounting okay and 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 the accountant okay uh, the accountant tell tell me so for example i'm the bus business owner who does not understand accounting the the my accountant tell me that my profit is three thousand and i'm the business owner so so i will go and tell the tell the accountant Hey, no, you are wrong. How how can my profit be three thousand? I have four thousand in my pocket over here. So so how are we going to reconcile the difference between the accountant's profit, net profit, and the from the business point of view, from the business owner's point of view? The business owner says that his cash profit, the cash money that he has in the po in his pocket is four thousand. So three thousand, I will add back this this um depreciation 1000 then i will arrive at this cash generated from operation or cash profit of 4000 okay so then now um we go to example three okay so now this profit and loss account so now we are going to put an example okay so everything is is that like just now the 4000 is all on cash basis rental is all paid water electricity 1000 is all paid depreciation is an expense but um it's not a cash outflow okay we did not pay the depreciation okay so for example now under sales ten thousand eight thousand is received okay two thousand is not received not received in uh, accounting term we call it debtors okay so out of this ten thousand dollars sales eight thousand the money received already two thousand the money not received yet okay so um so if we do cash flow using direct method cash received from customer is eight thousand minus cash paid to suppliers and employees is still six thousand four thousand plus one thousand plus one thousand six thousand so my cash generated from operation means my cash profit is two thousand two thousand is in my pocket okay so so now there will be an argument between the um, accountant and the business owner the illiterate illiterate business owner Okay, the a business owner will say that no, no, no my profit is two thousand, two thousand in my pocket here, what? Yeah, so the accountant say no, sir, 
your net profit is 3,000 because uh, from what we do in the profit and loss account, your net profit is 3,000. Then look here. Um, 1,000 was treated as an expense in a profit and loss account, but the money was not paid out. So we, we, we add back. So that's why 3,000 plus 1,000 will be your cash profit. Then, um, then, okay, in the profit and loss account, the sales, the sales we put it as ten thousand because the two thousand was not received, but but it is it is earned already. So that's why, uh, in our profit and loss account, we still include it in the sales, but the money was not received by you yet. That's why, that's why your cash would be. Um, you see, if the money was received, that your you your 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 cash in your pocket is supposed to be four thousand. Three thousand is the net profit plus add back the. Um, the depreciation is is a non cash non cash expense. It was an expense deducted uh, deducted um, in the profit and loss account, but the money did not go out. So, so, so you see, if if this customer have have paid me already, I would have four thousand in my pocket. But, okay, so three thousand is my profit. Out of this three thousand, two thousand is not received yet. Okay, so minus increase in debtor. Okay, two thousand not received yet. So three thousand plus one thousand minus two thousand. So the cash generated for operations is two thousand. That means the cash in my pocket is two thousand. Okay, you see the net profit over here is three thousand. Look here, the net profit over here is three thousand. But remember, okay, the three thousand. Okay, so this one add back the the non cash expense. So. So it's supposed to have four thousand. Okay, it's supposed to have four thousand, but two thousand is not received yet. Okay, so two thousand is not in my pocket yet. So four thousand minus two thousand. So two thousand is in my pocket now, right? Okay, so how how should we present it? Okay, cash flow from bracket use in operating activities. Okay, this is the um, indirect method, the method that we are supposed to learn. So we put net profit. Adjustment for non uh, adjustment here, then cash non cash item will be depreciation, then working capital changes, increase in debtor. Okay, bracket means money go out. No bracket means money coming. Okay, so this one we must add back depreciation. So th that's why it, our our um, cash will be three thousand plus one thousand. Okay, that will, um our cash profit will, is something like four thousand minus two thousand. 2,000 is um, so-called something like money go up. You see, what do you understand by debtors? Debtors are people who owe us money, right? So, can we say that um, debtors are also people whom we lend money to, that's why they owe us? Yeah, indirectly, it can mean like that, right? So, you see, we sell to them 10,000. We so-called, we... They are supposed to pay us ten thousand. Okay, assuming that he pay me all the ten thousand, and I go and lend him two thousand, right? So, so that's why increase in debtor. So, if you lend the, the, if you directly or indirectly lend that person the money, is a money go out. So, increase in debtor. I put bracket. Bracket means money go out. Increase in debtor is money go out. Bra bracket means negative. Negative in the cash flow means money go out. Okay. Increase in debtor is money go out. So three thousand plus one thousand, four thousand, uh, two thousand is indirectly a money go out. Okay, two thousand. That's why the cash um cash generated from operation or, or your cash profit is two thousand. Another way to think of debtors is, you see, I I um debtors for probably I can think of it is my second banker. Yeah, I have the money, but the money is. With this person, okay, this person is my second bank, yeah, holding the money for me, okay, so, so three thousand plus one thousand minus two thousand, which is with the debtor, my money, but with the debtor, so, so the cash generated, uh, from operation, the cash in my pocket, uh, that I have generated for operation is two thousand here, right? So now go a little bit more complicated now. So example four. Okay, so all this is a series of um, like continuous events. So now we have explained that sales, sales over here, eight thousand is uh, received, two thousand is not received. 
Okay, so we have accepted this already. So now there's another complication here. In the purchase, three thousand is paid, one thousand is not paid. So that means we buy the goods from the supplier, we paid three thousand, we buy four thousand worth of goods from the supplier, we paid three thousand. One thousand is not paid yet. Okay, one thousand is not paid yet. The supplier is so good. Okay, uh, it's so kind. He he um sell us the goods so that means he delivered the goods four thousand to our company um we said that um can we pay you later we pay three thousand first one thousand we pay you later and the supplier agreed so 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 called the supplier is financing us one thousand so called the suppliers um is indirectly lending us one thousand he he supply us four thousand worth of goods he bring in four thousand worth of goods to us but uh, we paid him three thousand, and three thousand we ha we still owe him. So called, so called indirectly, the supplier lend us one thousand. So called, so that means the one thousand is indirectly a cash inflow. It's a money come in, you know. So you see, continuing from just now, continuing from just now, okay, cash received from customer is eight thousand. We have accepted that just now already. So just now we said cash paid to supplier and employee is six thousand, but now we we. We we discovered that one thousand is unpaid, so six thousand minus one thousand. So cash paid to supplier and employee is five thousand. Okay, eight thousand minus five thousand. So cash generated from operation is three thousand. Okay, so so um now how are we going to reconcile the whole thing? So net profit, so this is uh indirect method. Net profit is three thousand, at um depreciation, which is a non cash item. Okay. So this is um increase in debtor is a money go out because um the customer bought all the ten thousand worth of goods, but he still owes us two thousand. So indirectly we know already, increase in debtor is a money go out. It's a cash outflow because we indirectly lend the the debtor our money. Okay, or our money is still with the debtor. We earn the money already, but the two thousand is still with the debtor. So minus two thousand. Okay, increase in creditor. Okay, so you see the um, increase in creditor. So this one unpaid. So this one creditor are people whom we owe money to. So we owe the person one thousand. Can we say that indirectly? Okay, the person lend me one thousand. Yes, it's true. You know, the person supply the goods four thousand to us. We paid them three thousand, and three thousand we are still we still owe him. You know. We still owe him, even though he he give us four thousand worth of goods already. So, you see, the supplier or the creditor have actually indirectly lend us one thousand dollar. So the one thousand dollar is a money come in. It's a money come in. It's a cash inflow. So cash inflow no bracket. So increase in creditor is a money come in. It's a cash inflow. So at one thousand dollar, okay. Yeah. You see, it, our net profit here is um, is 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 three thousand, okay, three three thousand. This is this is my um is my my net profit, is my net profit, um. But, okay, so so let's say if we look at it um individually, my net profit is um. Is is three thousand. Okay, con so uh, sales minus purchases, then then minus all these things, we get the we get the net profit, but but um, certain things the the cash outflow has not um occur yet, the cash outflow has not has not occur yet. So three thousand we add back, add back uh, among other things three thousand we add back this one thousand, that. That has not uh, that we have not paid yet. So, for example, our accounting profit three thousand. Okay, okay. Among other among other things, we add back one thousand in order to arrive, ultimately arrive at our cash profit. So you must understand this net profit is the accounting profit. Okay, accounting profit. But to a to a um lay person businessman who does not understand accounting, he he would think of profit as the Money that he have received in his pocket, okay, the cash, so called the cash generated from operations. So let's say the profit, your debt profit is three thousand, but the profit in the pocket, 
you know, the, the money in the pocket, the, the cash profit that in the pocket, in the pocket of the business owner, will add back 1,000 because, because the 3,000 is um, after, after deducting of the whole purchases. But 1,000 is not paid yet. So 3,000 will add back this 1,000 in order to arrive at the cash profit of the, at the cash generated from operations. Okay, 3,000. So, so we put all the numbers together, 3,000 plus this depreciation, 1,000 minus increase in debtor, um, add increase in creditor, we get cash generated from operation, 3,000. Okay, so now, um, uh, uh, a little bit even more even more um, complicated okay okay so this this one three thousand one thousand paid unpaid okay okay so this one is um is the same same like uh it's the same like just now. So now we come to come to this one example example six. So your sales is ten thousand. Okay, this 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 whole thing is um is similar like uh it's like like just now, but add one more thing stock. Okay, so we are making things gradually more and more complicated. Okay, so just now the cash received from customer is eight thousand because out of ten thousand, eight thousand is received, two thousand is not received, ten thousand. So cash paid is to suppliers and employee was five thousand. Uh, was um, same same like just now. We have already accepted this already. We have explained and accepted this already. Okay. So the cash generated from operations is um, is five thousand. Is is sorry, eight thousand minus five thousand is three thousand. Okay. So now we have one more thing. Closing stock. Okay. So we purchase four thousand and um, like just now. Out of this four thousand purchase, three thousand is paid, one thousand is unpaid. But we have a closing stock of one thousand. So we purchase four thousand, but one thousand is still in stock, not so yet. So our cost of goods sold will be three thousand. Okay, will be three thousand. Four thousand minus one thousand. So the cost of goods sold is this one thousand will be sell. Will be will, we are going to uh, keep it in the store and. We will sell it next year, so it will be next year's cost. So this year's cost is four thousand minus one thousand is three thousand. So the gross profit is seven thousand, and our profit instead of three thousand just now is three thousand. Now it's four thousand. Okay, our gross, our net profit um just now was three thousand. So now, is is four thousand because because we have a closing stock. Our we purchased four thousand, but one thousand is is still in stock, not sold yet. Okay. So the cash received from customer is eight thousand. The cash paid to supply and employee is five thousand three. So this one, this part, no change. So cash generated from operation is four thousand. So how are we going to reconcile this difference? Our profit is four thousand. Okay, just now depreciation is same like just now. Increase in debtor, increase in creditor. Okay, increase in stock. Uh, is a cash outflow. Then we get cash generated from operation. So increase in stock is a cash outflow. That is because, because we buy the stock, yeah, it's included in the purchases. We buy the stock. So for example, um, this 1,000 is inclusive in the, the 3,000 of unpaid uh, purchases. Okay, so, so we buy the stock, but 1,000 is, is not sold yet. Not sold yet. So, so it, it, won't be, um, it won't be deducted against against the, uh, it won't be um, treated as a deduction or expense in the profit and loss account. That's why only the 3,000 that, that is, um, only the 3,000 is the cost of goods sold. The purchases minus the closing stock, you get 3,000. So that's why the closing stock, closing stock, so if you think about it carefully, the closing stock is not treated as an expense in the profit and loss account. Okay, the, the that means the unsold goods is not treated as an expense. This 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 three thousand is the the goods that are sold that, that are sold to customers. So that's why it's the cost of goods sold. The one thousand is the unsold goods. The unsold goods is, is not treated as an expense in a profit and loss account. But the one thousand is a cash outflow. I mean I mean it's included as a as a cash outflow, right? So 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 that means this one thousand 
of stock is not treated as an expense, but it's, it's a cash outflow. So it's not treated as an expense, so that means it won't be deducted against profit. But it is a cash outflow. So 4,000, we should minus this cash outflow, then we get the cash generated from operations. That is 3,000. Okay. So that means to sum it up, um, working capital changes are... Uh, Increase in debtors is a cash outflow. Increase in creditors is a cash inflow. Increase in stock is a cash outflow. Okay, so this is how we do the cash flows from or used in operating activities in order to arrive at our cash generated from operations. Okay, so so um, if you want to watch the video again, just just um, rewind it and watch all over again. So this is our company website. Thank you for watching. Um, uh, okay, so we will see you in the in the next uh, video. Okay, thank you. Bye.